Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, KRS. Sa video na ito ay magsascroll na naman ako ng mga comments dito sa aking mga YouTube videos at sasagot ako ng isang comment. Okay? So, this comment is regarding sa status or about their orders, especially from the online shop that they have ordered. And this question that I've got here from Miss Clarissa Carpe is quite bizarre or unique. <laughs> So honestly, I've I've actually encountered um, this type of question, and nagtataka rin ako kung bakit to nangyayari sa kanila. Alright, yung tanong niya, tanong ko lang po kung bakit may mga parcel na dumadating sa akin pero wala naman po ako in order. Okay, Miss Clarissa, um, I've got this comment also before, and worry na worry talaga yung um, tao. Kasi may dumating rin sa kanya at napakamahal ng price tapos hindi siya nag-order. So the main reason kung bakit na nangyayari ha, kasi hindi naman uh, mag-deliver si Shopee, si Lazada, si Zalora or anong shop, um, online shop man yan. Hindi sila mag-deliver unless nag-place order ka sa app nila, okay? So this time, kapag nangyari ito sa iyo na hindi ka naman nag-order, there could be a person who personally know you or knows you, okay? Nikilala ka kung tagasan ka, anong pangalan mo, yung house number mo, alam niya details. Um, this could be the person na um, kilala ka lang. Yung kaibigan mo could be, could be family or um, relative or kaaway mo, ganyan. So, ito lang po yung um, motibo or um, um, could be the reason kung bakit may um, dumadating na order sa iyo. Kasi hindi maaari na may darating na order sa iyo kung hindi mo ito in order. So, kasi sa Zalora, sa, sa Shopee, sa Lazada, ano pang online shop pa yan, pwede kasi ibang tao yung mag-order at isend sa address mo. For example, this YouTube channel, KRS. So, I personally personally do order items from um, an online shop. Okay? So, pwede kong isend to, yung address, isend ko sa ibang address. So, ibahin ko yung address na nasa settings ng Shopee app ko. For example, Shopee. So, pwede siyang ibahin yung, yung address, ibahin yung pangalan ng mag-receive, ibahin yung phone number, ibahin lahat. Okay? Ibahin lahat ng um, for personal information doon sa um, receiver. So, this could be na yung naging recipient or naging receiver doon, um, iniba. At yung ginamit na credentials or yung pangalan, yung address ay yung address mo. Yung pangalan mo, lahat-lahat. So, hindi kasi nangyayari na mayroong um, i-deliver sa'yo, pero hindi, naman, hindi mo naman uh, pinlace order yon So, maaari na mayroong ibang tao na nag-order para sa'yo. And maaaring pinagkakatawaan ka lang, maaaring nagagalit sa'yo, ma maaaring din kaaway mo, or maaaring wala lang, gusto, gusto lang niya. ba So, uh, to solve that, um, this certain problem, since meron ako natulungan ng ganito, meron siyang problema, I've received um, the same question before, uh, matagal-tagal na rin yon so, kinontak niya yung, ano, yung, yung, yung shop, yung, yung shop, yung online shop, so, nag-report siya kung sino yon si kasi matatrack kasi yan, guys, kung sino yung nag-order, anong pangalan, so, matatrack yan, tapos yun, na nalaman niya kung sino, Kaya, yun. <laughs> Dapat yung i-report yun, guys. Kasi baka hindi lang yan yung i-order niya. Kasi baka orderan ka niya ng washing machine, orderan ka niya ng yung smart TV, yung ng iPhone na napakamahal, yun. Baka orderan ka ng napakamahal na ano, gamit. Tapos hindi mo naman expect na yun, i-deliver -de sa'yo. So, yun lang, guys. And I hope you've learned something from this video. So, if you have questions, um, pwede nyo i-comment yan sa baba at I will reply to... Uh, your questions to your inquiries okay so thank you for watching this video and see you in my next <laughs> vlog tutorial or yeah videos like this okay so bye, -bye. Mom -mom -mom.